Hello and welcome back to Millennial Knowledge. Today, I got a different story for you. A Knoxville man found responsible for his mother's death by a civil jury and acquitted of first degree murder by a criminal jury is now suing his 73 year old father and the law enforcement officers who investigated the homicide. This man that you see, Jason Carter, 47, accused Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation Agent Mark Ludwick and Marion County Deputy Sheriff Reed Hios of conducting an incomplete and biased investigation into his mother's death, and according to a federal lawsuit filed Thursday, his father Bill Carter was also named as a defendant. Shirley Carter, 68, was found dead in a rural Lacona home she shared with Bill Carter on June 19, 2015. Bill Carter said he found his wife's body in the kitchen, her heart shredded by two bullets. Jason Carter, the youngest of their three children, was at home with his mother when Bill Carter arrived. Bill Carter filed a civil lawsuit against his son on January 5, 2016. At the civil trial in December of 2017, a jury found Jason Carter civilly responsible for his mother's death. He was arrested and charged with first-degree murder two days later. In March, Jason Carter would have faced life behind bars. Instead, the jury acquitted him of murder and he walked out the courtroom a free man. Jason Carter proceeded to fight the judgment in his civil case, arguing the criminal verdict and the evidence presented in the criminal trial justified a new civil trial. But Marion County District Judge Martha Mertz in June denied Carter's request that the original verdict be thrown out, leaving Carter on the hook to pay $10 million to his mother's estate as a result of the civil verdict. The next step in Jason Carter's fight against his civil verdict came Thursday as he accused his father and the investigators of violating due process, false arrest, malicious prosecution, abuse of process, and negligent and wrongful investigation. Quote, Even while possessing myriad statements and evidence implicating others in the murder, the state doggedly pursued Jason Carter without evidence that implicated him in the murder and refused to investigate leads pointing to other suspects, the lawsuit reads. The 76-page suit alleges potential leads were not thoroughly investigated, evidence was flawed or left out, and malicious intent was used to pin the murder to Jason Carter. Bill Carter will vigorously defend Jason's frivolous claims. Bill Carter's attorney, David Foch, told the registry in a statement Friday. Bill is angry, but not surprised, that the person liable for Shirley's murder is once again on the hunt for money he does not deserve. End quote. Representatives with Iowa DCI and the Marion County Sheriff's Office did not immediately return requests for comment Friday. The lawsuit accuses Ludwig, the main DCI investigator, of targeting Jason Carter as the primary suspect without having the proof to do so, and of making false and defamatory statements against him through the civil and criminal investigations. The DCI investigator gave misleading evidence to the civil plaintiffs to use in a civil trial to get a liability verdict against Jason Carter, then used that leverage criminal charges. The court filings continue. Quote, Ludwig intended these untrue statements to separate Jason Carter from his family and from his community in order to place pressure and emotional distress on John Carter, in order to make his, him confess, and in order to garner support for the prosecution of Jason Carter, the lawsuit reads. Jason and his wife, Shelley Carter, had a close and supportive relationship with both their family and their community before Shirley Carter's death, the lawsuit reads. The allegations against Jason Carter rift and separation in many of those relationships. Both Jason and Bill Carter told the registry in an interview earlier this year that while they still farm land adjacent to one another, they no longer have a relationship. Jason Carter claims his father and the investigators knew he had an alibi that disqualified him from being a suspect. That 
coupled with his claim that Shirley died well before Jason Carter found her body, shows he didn't kill her, he argued in the suit. Quote, despite claims Jason Carter murdered Shirley Carter because of financial distress, defendants knew Jason Carter gained nothing financially from Shirley Carter's death. End quote. Jason Carter also claimed the investigators spun a narrative web that he killed his mother because she discovered Jason was having an extramarital affair. The state had evidence that even if Shirley was aware of extramarital affair, she would have supported and protected her son, the lawsuit reads. The lawsuit claims Ludwig kept an extremely disorganized file for the murder investigation, containing multiple recordings, reports, and evidence lost mislabeled, or inscrutable. The suit also alleges investigators implicated four other individuals as suspects as early as 2015, but because the investigators, quote, tunnel vision, focused on Jason Carter, they never pursued the known and easily obtainable information that would have shown that any potential alibis provided by these suspects could not be corroborated.